I decided to come back on here again this evening and I've got another video to make. This time there's a little something else I'd like to show and it's how to draw the lines to make this bear. These I've kind of taken some different woods and kind of made them smooth in the middle here. There's probably a few I've forgotten to do it with, but I think these woods have turned out just fine. They didn't have as much difference between their thickness as some of these cherry ones and walnut ones over here turned out to have. They kind of came out kind of straight on the edges here so we're going to do a little thing where we're going to take this pattern here and this one was a piece of cherry that was left over from the cutting out of other bears and to help me kind of remember the whether it's the front and back and which bear it is I mean you know I sort of the, these were the pieces to bear A, and these were the pieces to bear B, <coughs> kind of like for <coughs> the sitting pose. So on these, I put SAF and SAF to be the front of sitting bear A front, and on, on these, I put SAB and SAB to be sitting bear a back that kind of helps us to separate them of course with these i wasn't able to make the grain come out as well with the pieces i had here so i did the best i could with what pieces i had and you can probably see it comes out a little bit longer in one piece than it does on the other as far as how it's going to turn out so um I decided to give this these pieces the best work I could, try to make the grain the best way I could, and as you see here, I'm going to have this bear facing the front on this one. So this is how we are going to draw the lines here to make this bear kind of have a sitting up type of pose here and I'm going to demonstrate a little bit more on how this is going to be done so I've already drawn these lines in and that little line down there to make its tail so this is just how I've gotten this to come out so far of course, it has a little arm that only has to be folded back in one place, only to trace along this line that is right here. So I am going to trace along that line to kind of make the place where its hand and arm will be. And this kind of goes to show you how with the way I have made these grains turn out here, it's kind of like where the grains are going to be curved on one side of the bear and where they're straight out like this, they're going to be like this on the other side. Just kind of make it come close, but not make it come exact. As you can see here, I am using the other side of the pattern to make the reverse side of the bear that is going to be up in its sitting type of pose. So we've got little things taken care of here. We're settling these matters the best way they need to be. So here this is kind of where I draw the little lines and as you can see I've gotten them to 
turn out so well here. I am going to kind of, well, anyway, there's a place on here I missed. There is actually a place where the leg goes up to over the hip. So we're going to have to draw that line as well. That little line is actually right here, as I've noticed. So I had to take it and draw that little line in. And we're going to come back to this one here and do the same thing with this one as well. Kind of put in the little line to make the hip and the leg. This is how we've gotten the teddy bear to turn out so far. This one again, it's kind of where you can kind of see how the grain is like this and where it comes out kind of a little more to a different angle on the next side than it does here. But we are going to draw the same lines on this one here. Try to make it go a little further and forward for what we're going to see is a great bear to come out here. We're going to draw these little lines, make it how it needs to be. I say that, you know, there's bears of all colors in this world. There's brown bears, black bears, polar bears, grizzly bears. There's sloth bears, moon bears, sun bears, all different kinds in this world. There's been different classifications for the panda over the years. It's, it's, it's currently classified as a member of the bear family, but they kind of had it in the raccoon family for so many years. This is how I've gotten this one to turn out, just like that. And we are going to come to this other one, draw the little lines to make this one and have a little mercy in what we're doing here. The little lines we draw, carve out, make little things out of them, show them on video and in pictures and in the world. This little thing, it's just like visual planning. They always say that if you fail to plan, you should plan to fail. So, that's kind of how we watch out about things. It's always good to get a little help now and then. There's been times when, you know, if I had been more stubborn about things as I, than I, as I, than I was, and if I had refused to get some of the help I could have gotten, it could have been a little thing where, you know, of all things, I could have ended up in the ER. I've been to the emergency room a few times just for little failures about things. I will say this now. These two pieces of walnut here, you can see that I've gotten the grains about equal and even with these, so we can finally, and I'm going to X this out because that is the inside drawing, but we are going to finally trace this little pattern onto the outside of this one and make it come out so much as good as it can. This is something that we all need to see a little in our light, in our life, and show people that grace is accounted for, that grace is God's unmerited favor. Won't try to get too much on religion tonight as we're kind of doing this work just to show a little bit of how things turn out, but 
I will say as I was just trying to demonstrate on pieces or figure pieces out over my break that was kind of why I kind of drew temporary pictures but this is what the final picture is going to be on this one and since I get the grain out in, into the same direction with this piece I'm going to X out this one too and take the same pattern reverse it and draw the same lines on this one and they will be drawn from a different angle as it is practically where you see the new angle of the grain because we are working on this for sure tonight trying to make it come out as good as it needs to be it's just a lot of time in our life that we take care of little matters and I'm here to say God is a God of grace for sure been good to us all these days here's how I made this one and when you see how the picture show from the outside this is how the grain is going to turn out when it works so um First of all, we need to make sure there are no pictures on the insides of these. There were a couple that did, but this was when I was sort of drawing lines and pictures onto wood and checking out grains at a time when I wasn't able to run the saws. So you can see with these pieces, I mean, the grain in them is kind of a little bit less usable for a two-piece bear. I might cut the bears out of them anyway and probably just make it so they are going to be little one pieces or something like that. That might be the best I can do with them, but like as I ha already had these as as SA left and SA right for sitting left and right. I mean, I only kind of did that with one side, only with the fronts of these. So with these, I'd say it's like this is sitting bare B. So I put SB left and SB right on these to make it so that they will also fit the grain the way it needs to be so we are taking care of this and showing little spots and signs and oh the wonders we're going to take care of over time makes things so much happier and livable and likable and lovable and oh i tell y'all people this little faith in us it's going to Drive us a long way. Make us happy forever with all the people who come to contact us and come around us. We are all going to be so grateful and blessed by all we're going to see and hear. I tell y'all people, I finally got this side of this bear traced out into the wood. We've got another little bear to do. We're going to do the other side here make this one come out the way it's going to need to be and show a little grace and faith and all things to this little teddy and make things have a little light that shines in us make things have a little world that brightens us all the time makes us see our days as good as they can be Oh, the joy we get out of our hobbies and our work. I will say one thing that it might be a few days before I turn the saw back on because I'm really too tired to work with it. But we got it to come out good. And here is the other side to the bear from the other reverse side of the pattern. We're getting these to come off a long way, getting these a little better as the days go on. 
I will say I can't wait to get these carved, to get these cut out, get the blanks made, carve them out as well. And I'm going to have so much to show, so much to say as many more days come. Oh, the faith we have. Oh, the light we have. Oh, the grace that grows in our hearts. Of all things I have to say, it's always going to be a little work here and there. I've done a little carving out there in that little couch area in the middle of the basement, but I bring it back in here now, do a little stuff in here, make it all seem shiny and better and all this other stuff and it gets all the way to the point that it all just shines bright on the moon in the noon days and in the evenings all things are well all things are good i'm here to say that it's finally time for me to close up this video but I will hope to have many more to be made in a future generation and have these last for many more generations to come. Oh.